Hello everybody, this is, um, as somebody asked me how you download patches onto the Yamaha DX7. So I'm going to go over quickly with that. Okay, first you want to make sure you're on MIDI channel. One, so, okay, that's good. So we have it, um, uh, set so on MIDI channel one. You go into your press button eight, and it'll, it'll tell you if it's available or unavailable to change. If it's unavailable, press there, yes or no, and then you just switch over your channels. Going to press back out. Okay. All right. Let me see. Now we want to exit out of here. Excuse me. There we go. MIDI channel one. Okay. Now we want to make sure memory protect. So we're going to go in here. Okay. It's turned up off at the moment. So let's see if I can see clearly on my screen here. Okay, if it is. Now if you want to change it, just press yes or no here. And that'll allow you to do that. Next step, make sure your USB does a roll in UM1 so it's clearly marked. So it's connect this one says connect to in and this one says connect to out. Some of them will just say in or out. It'll be backwards. If it says uh, out that goes to the in and if it says in, that goes to the out port. So it does. It's not logical, but as in goes to the out of the one. That's basically out from one to the in on the other. Okay. Make sure it's connected to your USB. Okay. All right. Next step. Make sure you're. I'm using MediaOx. All right. On these older synths, you want to make sure they can. Information goes in slow. Low level input buffer, I set to 512 and 64 number, and 512 and 64, okay. And I'm trying to remember what else, there's some other options you get, you can configure. And I think we have it pretty well set up properly, where you can, it should work fine. It's always worked fine with me, I've never had any issues. And all the different old keyboards I've been using. All right, next step. You can see here, send a system exclusive file to MIDI output. Pull. Since I don't have it plugged in because I don't want to change what I have in there, but uh, just to give you an idea of what you go through. All right. Okay. Now, what you can do once you have that. And I'm trying to remember. Okay, now you're being stubborn. All right. Okay. Yeah, without it, doesn't like me. But what basically what you do is, uh, all right, yeah, see, so you're being stubborn. All right, what it'll do is it'll pop up menu, so, and whatever files you have, it'll say it'll uh, it'll pull up the ones I have stored on uh, my documents, and just click on it, and it'll send it to it. And that's basically that in a nutshell how it works. All right. Okay, and now the other thing, they want to hear what, what this sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through a few of these aftermarket patches for this device. Let's put this down. Okay. Alright, let get my glasses so I can see what the patch name is. Alright, let's go back to play, get out of everything. This one's called Ethereal.
patches. And, and wanna, each involved here, just wanna go through. Ethereal B. JP8. Good. 
GX, synth GX8. Sin box. Fourteen spirits. This is our boys. And sixteen chorus. This one's kind of crap whistling. Bong, gong. Evolution. Alright, we've gone through them all. Uh, I've got lots of these patches, but gives you an indication what it sounds like without just using factory sounds. Okay. Anyway, pick this little gap when we're. If you know, we get this. Uh, I had to do a few repairs on this. Uh, the output uh, jack, the uh, connections were came undone. The solder uh, repaired it. On my previous video, I've seen it taken apart. But now she's all fixed and ready to go.